So we have an interesting equation here. Let's see if we can solve for k. And we're going to assume that m is greater than 0. Like always, pause the video, try it out on your own, and then, then I'll, I will do it with you. All right, let's, let's work on this a little bit. So you could imagine that the key to this is to simplify it using our knowledge of exponent properties. And there's a couple of ways to think about it. First, we can look at this rational expression here, m to the 7 ninths power divided by m to the 1 third power. And the key realization here is that if I have, if I have x to the a over x to the b, that this is going to be equal to x to the a minus b power. And it actually comes straight out of the notion that x to the a over x to the b, x to the a over x to the b, is the same thing as x to the a times 1 over x to the b, which is the same thing as x to the a times 1 over x to the b. That's the same thing as x to the negative b which is going to be the same thing as if I have a base to one exponent times the same base to another exponent, I have, that's the same thing as that base to the sum of the exponents, a plus negative b, which is just going to be a minus b. So we got to the same place. So we can rewrite this as, so we can rewrite this part as being equal to m to the 7 ninths power minus 1 third power is equal to is equal to m to the k over 9. And I think you see where this is going. What is 7 ninths minus 1 third? Well, 1 third is the same thing. We want a common denominator. 1 third is the same thing as 3 ninths. So I can rewrite this as 3 ninths. So 7 ninths minus 3 ninths is going to be 4 ninths. So this is the same thing as m to the, m to the 4 ninths power is going to be equal to m to the k ninths power. So 4 ninths must be the same thing as k ninths. So we can say 4 ninths is equal to k ninths. 4 over 9 is equal to k over 9, which tells us that k must be equal to 4. And we're all done.